I don't have my rackets with me. <laughs> That's a lot of hair. I don't really want to film in there because I don't want it to be like a little weird. And then you unleash Queen. Is it good? And some of the things that we miss moving down here. So I okay. can't do that yet. I because they're called paddles. That's why. <laughs> Family. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm Jill. This is It's the Donnellys. And today is another day in which to excel. Am I allowed to say that? I know it's Mike's phrase, but I'm going to go ahead and say it today. Today is a big day for me. Um, I will say that for my birthday, I received uh, pickleball paddles. My birthday's in July. Right now, it's January. So six months later, I still haven't even touched the paddles because I don't know how to play pickleball. So my friend Paula said, hey, there's a pickleball clinic going on. So this morning we are going to a pickleball clinic, a three hour clinic for total beginners. So I'm pulling in, by the way, okay, so this is my story. Brennan plays pickleball. So he's been home a couple times, um, you know, from college and been wanting to play pickleball with his friends. So he used my paddle and all that stuff or whatever it's called. And Ryan too, Ryan has since played pickleball. I have not. So... I, this morning, was running around trying to find the, my pickleball rackets, paddles, whatever they're called, pickleball things, and I could not find them. So I wake up Ryan, he's like, I don't know where they are, moms, and, and it's too, I'm like, I could text Brendan, but by the time I hear back, he's probably still sleeping. Anywho, so I pull in and I see the instructor, I'm like, hey, um, I don't have my rackets with me, because I can't have, do you guys have extra rackets? He goes, uh, we don't have any pickleball rackets. And I was like, oh shoot. I said, I can run to the Dick's Sporting Goods. He goes, because they're called paddles. That's why. <laughs> Lesson number one. So anyway, I am a total newbie, like a total newbie. I really have no idea. One time when we were at Fort Wilderness with the kids, maybe like three years ago, Brennan tried to teach us how to play, but I didn't have my sunglasses. The sun was so bright. It hurt my eyes. So I like was kind of, I ended up sitting out. It was hot as blazes too. So now, uh, so I don't remember anything. I know it's kind of like tennis, that's all I know. So if you guys play pickleball, comment down below. I would love to know. I'm hoping this could be my new thing. I, I don't know if this could be my new thing, but I'm, I'm happy to know how to play. That's what I want to do, I want to know how to play. So I could just sort of pick up. I, I'm not sure if I'll be good or not. I don't like it when balls are thrown at me. <laughs> so I'm, I do not generally like any games that involve balls. So, or games or sports. So that's why I run, swim yoga, but, um, how bad could it be? All right, you guys, pickleball has been amazing. It is, uh, we are two hours in on a three hour clinic. We just learned how to serve. I don't really want to film in there because I don't want it to be like a little weird, but you can see that that's the, right behind me is the court. And, um, my friend Paul and I are having a blast. I'll fill you in on what's going on later. All right, I'm going back in. I just came out for my glass of, my drink of water and I'm going to go back in and do more serves. practicing and learning and practicing and learning some chess moves. We did watch um, Queen's Gambit the other night. Oh uh, yeah, I rewatched it. I've seen it a couple times. Um, it's a fantastic a movie. Show. Yes. So that, re well, you had been reignited before no, then, but yeah. it just gave you the impetus to look up, there's Michael John, to look up some of the uh, moves. Well, Is that right? Well, no. I, yes, Mikey. Oh, well, no, no, no. I've been, well, I've been watching chess on youtube for a while but i rewatched queen's gambit as well you anyway, guys i was i was gonna just show mom the fat liver and she's like hold on i want to film i want to film this because you guys okay for, i'll tell you why i want to film it because number one i think it's cool it's like something different right i don't know maybe it's not maybe you guys play chess but that's also what i wanted to know is comment below if you guys play chess if you're interested in chess ryan has this this passion for chess that i think is so cool and it's so um I'm envious of it because I wish I did. And we play, but I never win, <laughs> which is cool. 
All right, what you got? So, okay, so the fried liver is an attack play with the white pieces. Fried liver? It's called the fried liver. Yeah. Okay. So it starts with the moves e4, e5, and then uh, knight attacking. When the knight defends, then you play this. This is known as the Italian game, when the bishop goes out here. So then black realizes, hey, they didn't defend their, their e4 pawn. And they come out, and now you unleash knight there, attacking the f7 pawn, right? Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, the natural move for uh, black here is to play pawn out. Um, well, everybody knows that. Right. Yeah. So, when they do that, you're going to take with pawn. Okay. They're going to take back. And then, you unleash queen, right? So, uh, oh wait, no, no you don't. I'm so sorry. When that happens... You were going to take... I was just about to say, that doesn't look right. I know, right? I, <laughs> I totally blanked out for a second. You're going to take, and uh, unless they want to, you know, lose their rook or, you know, do anything, they're, they're going to have to take back with the king. And then, you put the queen out, check, and a lot of people want to hide their king in this corner. Mm -hmm. But that's just, it's just me. Anything black does, check, you can take... Take, you can't defend here. Take, it's me. Right? Wow. So, uh, that's called the fried liver. Everything. Fried liver. It's called the fried liver. And if they, you know, if they go back here, then, I mean, that's me as well. So, that's the fried liver. A counter, really quick, really quick, super speedy. A counter to it is called the Traxler. Which, it's very risky, and it gets them in the same positions, is when you play e4, e5, uh, knight, knight, bam, bam, bam. They're in trouble here. So, instead of playing pawn out, they play bishop, attacking this, uh, this pawn over here. So, when you come in here to do that, they say, I don't care about your attack. They come in here... <laughs> Check. You have to respond. You have to take. Or, well, live. Okay. And then in this position, knight takes. And then your your king can either retreat and block the rook in, or it comes out here. Your your king's in the middle of the board. You're like, how did that happen? And then from this, you can then um, you know bring the queen out. Do a multitude of things. You you're gonna lose some material in your rook over here. Um, but you're going to bring the queen out, you're going to develop, you're going to get this out, you're going to long castle, um, and then black has somehow turned the game on its head. Um, oh, that's the counter. That's the counter. Okay. Do you want to stay here and finish, or are you ready to get your hair cut? No, no, no. no that's very impressive, Ryan. Very I, just, uh, just saying those words. Like, I don't even think, it's like an auctioneer. Like, I don't even think I could make it up. Right? I still have yet to learn the name of every square. Oh. Like, okay, so so how you name the squares is it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay. Starting from the white side. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, it seems like then every square would be easier to name. Right. What's this one? Oh, I see. I, I, we go one, well, two, right. three, no, four, no, no. five, I know six. Oh, names, I but, see. But, but, are, oh, but off the top you, of your head. When you watch people, like you watch Hikaru, yeah. who was a five-time U.S. champ, Next to six, blah, 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 you just, you know, it's oh, okay. So I okay. can't do that yet. I can pretty easily, you know, figure it out. Right. But, um, but to know them off, but obviously, okay. moves that, like, you know, e4, e5 is coming over. Okay. So. Whoa, now you're throwing them. Uh, so, you know, it's excellent. Okay, well, that's awesome. I think that's great. Ryan, I'm trying to get him to, he, j he joined the chess club at home. And well, yeah, because I have friends in it, but also, we don't have any free periods, so I'd have to stay after school. Which I don't really want to do, so. Right. Instead, you stay. Instead, you come home from school and you play chess on your computer. Yeah, exactly. So why don't you just play chess against people? Because I like being in my house. Okay, bye. All right, it's time to go get Ryan's haircut. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right. What do you guys think? That, my friend. It's, There's a lot of it there. It's past time. Ryan actually asked for the haircut. It's not that we're like, oh, you have to get your haircut. Ryan's like, I think it's time to get the haircut. So, all right, here's your before.
<laughs> That's a lot of hair. <laughs> Let's do it. Say good luck because that last time. It's going. It's leaving. It's Joyce Day. There's uh, Ryan Ardo and Jillith and. You guys might be wondering why we're in the car together and Ryan still has hair. Well, this is what happened. <laughs> we went to get Ryan's haircut in the last clip. We walked in and they didn't have an appointment, so they said you have to come back at 7:30. So we went home and Ryan did some SAT work, SAT prep, and now we're headed, we picked up Mike, and now Ooh. we're heading back. We might grab a bite to eat, but we're definitely going to get ice cream. Okay, Ryan got his hair done. Let's take a look, Ryan. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. That looks so nice. Right? Are you happy? Yeah. Phew. I lost 20 pounds. I was just going to say, what was on the floor? Like a whole Even animal? The shampoo, the savings on shampoo. <laughs> exactly. So Mike and I skirted over to this place we wanted to try it called Al Forno. It's Mediterranean food and like Greek food. I'm so excited. This is kofta over yellow saffron rice with some hot potatoes and a little Greek salad and tahini sauce. Is it good? Mm, well, I can't wait to eat it. You want some beef? Or? Yeah. Okay. What? I know, sorry. Mike and I dropped Ryan off after dinner and had to run out to get ice cream. This is the story about our ice cream. Mm. We lived in uh, Maryland, in a place that we would go all the time. You probably have seen vlogs of us there, called Rita's, and it was like an Italian ice place and had a great swirl ice cream. And some of the things that we miss moving down here, we missed Rita's. We miss our, Itali our Bella Italia, our pizza place, because there's not really that good pizza. Right and we miss um, our Mexican restaurant. As far as food goes, those are our three most things. But now we found a place like Rita's. Yay! Do you like it? Is it good? I love it. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. And we still need to find pizza. We, ha we have found pizza that we can eat, just no pizza that's like and then we need to find our good Mexican restaurant, which we really haven't searched yet. We haven't really started to go on that search, but we will. But ice cream is very important. No, it's cool. I totally get it. You guys, we are so addicted to Game Pigeon. Specifically, I think we've talked about this before, but specifically anagrams and I don't know what the other one's called, where there's a square and there's a bunch of numbers. So if you guys don't know what, how is it called? Word Hunt. Um, Game Pigeon is a, I don't even know if it's an app on your phone. I don't think it is. It's like, a, I don't even know what it's called or where you get it, but it's the same place where like you might find your like gifts and stuff below where you write on your text line. Okay. Very confusing. I'll try to put a visual of it in there. Um, Game Pigeon is free, I think, right? We, I yeah. don't pay for it. Okay. Anyway, there's tons of games on there. So what you can do is you can send a game to somebody and then play it. So like, I'll send Ryan anagrams, and he plays it, and I play it. And sometimes we get a bunch of us together on it to play Uno. Very fun. So anyway, we are so addicted to it. Katie and I play. Ryan and I play. Ryan and Katie play. Mm -hmm. Brennan and Ryan play. I don't, I've only played Uno with Brennan, but you guys play pool, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anywho. All right, did you finish? So Katie, can you share? Katie got us all in the... Um... The anagrams? Yeah, anagrams. <laughs> totally. Spelling. It's so fun. Yeah. Anyway, at the end of this day, I had an amazing day. What Can I start with what made me happy today? Absolutely. I'll go first. What made me happy today was learning how to play pickleball. I have been wanting to do that forever. I am so excited. It, it was um, better than I thought it was going to be. It was, um, I didn't think I was going to walk away from that clinic actually knowing how to play. Now, mm. of course, there's a lot of rules and there's right. a lot of nuance and all that stuff. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But at least I have the basics that I can go out and I can like have knowledge and play a game and hone my skill. And I'm so excited to play with the family. Yeah, that's fine. I'm hopefully going to play again next week with my friend Paula. So yeah, that all was right. really, really, really fun. How about you? What made you happy today? What made me happy today uh, was the Caps winning. Nice. Uh, the Terrapins, Terps are up on Indiana right now. So okay. that's huge. Um, I walked into this ice cream place today and uh, the guy serving me my ice cream noticed my Orioles jersey. And he goes, oh, are you an O's fan? I go, yeah. He goes, uh, Ryan Mountcastle is my cousin. I go, no way. So shout out. Tell them uh, who Ryan Mountcastle is. Ryan Mountcastle, very um, good player on the Orioles. And um, I met his cousin. I think he said cousin. He might have said, like, brother-in-law. 
some but relation that's only one away. Some rela- yeah, it's very close. <laughs> he was at his wedding and everything. So, uh, anyway, that was a very cool experience. And I also got ice cream as well. And the haircut. Yeah, it looks great. Looks great. So. And let me just throw this out there as a little nugget for you guys. So baseball spring training happens a lot in Florida, and the Orioles are in our hometown. Yeah. So we'll get to go see the Orioles spring training, that which literally so starts, I think, next month. Fun. Like it's like yeah. football's just ending, and baseball spring training starts. It's a never-ending cycle of sports. Mm-hmm. I can't <laughs> wait. Right. excellent all right so you guys thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed today's vlog we hope you did something fun today something that made you happy and made somebody else happy mm-hmm. comment below what that might be and we will see you tomorrow bye Peace. thanks for watching be sure to thumbs up and subscribe see you later